environmental beat. Reduce, reuse, recycle. Do you remember those three R's? Mm -hmm. Reduce, reuse, recycle. These are the three R's that have been the mantra of sustainability here in California for years. But when it comes to recycling, we're not doing nearly as much as you might think or that we'd like. Part of the problem, stores that are supposed to refund customer bottle deposits, they're not doing so. Alex Cohen joins us now with more. Okay, the big question, why? Yes. And what was the original intent of refunding Californians for these bottles? Yeah, this program goes back to 1986. It is part of the California Beverage Container Recycling Litter, Litter Reduction Act. And the whole thought was that if you don't live near a recycling center, you don't have you know, recycling trucks coming to your front door, they didn't want you to just toss your bottles and containers in the landfill. So the thought was you would pay a, a deposit when you initially bought mm -hmm. that beverage, and then you would get that deposit back at the end, and that would be the incentive incentive to make sure that those containers didn't wind up in the landfill. And this applies to aluminum, glass, plastic containers, right? Yes, all sorts of things. And we're talking about in terms of what's in them, water, uh, carbonated and non-soft drinks. My personal favorite, kombucha, can't get enough of the stuff. <laughs> Energy <laughs> drinks, sports drinks, coffee, beer, um, fruit juice. But for fruit juice, it only has to be a certain size container. Uh, it doesn't apply to things that were really considered essential. Formula, uh, milk, things of that nature, medical food, wine. I don't know really? that wine's considered absolutely essential, but it oh, wound it up is. on that list. Yes, it, it is. is, right? <laughs> Uh, so basically, you're supposed to get five cents back on bottles that uh, are under 24 ounces and 10 cents back if it's over 24 ounces. But, but this whole plan hasn't worked out, just like recycling in general, hasn't right. all worked out as planned. And those two things are actually connected. There are currently nearly 3,800 stores throughout the state of California that are supposed to redeem these bottles we're talking about. Drug stores, supermarkets, uh, mini marts at a gas station. The local group Consumer Watchdog recently performed an audit of stores in Southern California. Let's take a look at what happened when they went into a store and tried to get their CRV, as it's known, deposit back. Hello. I want to know if I can redeem these bottles here. No, ma'am. No? No. I can't get the nickel back for each one of these? I've never done it and never oh. seen it done. Now here's the kicker. There was actually a sign that's posted as there's in all these stores saying we by law are mandated to give you the money back. And so these folks are like, no, it? it's a complicated thing. But part of it is the fact that many recycling centers are closing down about 40 percent of them. And that's because China is not taking our stuff like they used to. And that's part that's of a right. much bigger discussion, but one that we will be having tonight on Inside the Issues. We so wash out those it. yogurt containers, <laughs> make sure that newspaper is clean and tidy, put it in your blue bin, put your blue bin to the curb.